This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. See, I screwed up the opening again. I can't do anything right. I, every time I say everything's going perfectly, perfectly. I'm getting this, and then I'm playing that, and then I'm playing this, I'm playing that, and then I go, "Where's the audio to that beginning?" Oh, I don't have that uh, that that pot up. Oh boy, I'm getting too old for this. I'm getting too old for this. Oh well, you know, uh, it's time to bring in. Uh, 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 one member of our citizen panel who starts us off on Wednesdays. Uh, why, I have no idea, but we, we do it anyway. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, that's Phil Meyer. Hey, hey. I, I actually did it. Yeah, yeah happy uh, August 3rd to you. Yes, happy August 3rd to me too. Oh, God, my life has just been a living hell. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, just everything, 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 you know. For the last three days, I've been dealing with one technical issue after another to a point where I got so exhausted yesterday that I was ready to say, that's it, I'm through, you know, no more of this. Because I just go, you know, why am I doing this? Why? Why am I exhausting myself? I mean, no. and, and I mean, everything that could go wrong went wrong. First, I had mail problems where I wasn't getting my ga Alex at GabNet.net mail, okay, which is not... I sent you a long email. What? Uh, I sent you a long email. It probably messed up your system. Uh, I sent you the 51 pages of, of uh, Trump's accomplishments. Yeah. Uh, by the way, <laughs> put together by Trump. Well, why not? You know, uh, there, Far There's be it from you know he so seldom toots his own horn. No, never, not <laughs> not not Donald Trump. But uh, continue with your story of woe. We'll get to the the no, meeting. And, and, and so I wasn't getting the mail. Then I got that solved. And then I tell you, we are uh, we are. Uh, you remember how we used to do everything on Skype here? Jack yeah. still does his show on Skype. Damien does his show on Skype. The sports guy. Franchise MC does uh, it on Skype. As of today, no more Skype. Gabnet Live is no more. No more Skype. So no you were Skype. able to uh, bring everybody else into the 21st century? No, I was forced to. Oh, what uh, happened? Uh, Skype is the worst. Well, we it knew is that. The worst. Okay, so go on the other day. Damien is having trouble signing on, and uh, it's not taking his uh, password. And so I tried it. It's not taking the password either. So I put in a new password. So then he's yeah. able to sign on. And then after he's through, uh, there's no more pa the password doesn't work anymore. So then I try to reinstall the password, and after a couple of tries, it says, you've tried too many times. Try tomorrow. All right, so you're uh, you're done. Uh, yeah, so so try tomorrow. So I try tomorrow, and it says, "Oh, you have too many uh, things." Blah 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 blah. Try tomorrow, and I'm going. This is driving me nuts. And so for the, I I was going crazy. I was in this at this computer literally, for something like eight nine hours trying to solve this problem, which never got solved. You know, there's a couple so, of things. So I decided, fuck it. You know, a Jack's out sick for about a week and a half, so I don't have to worry about getting him up to speed. <laughs> Damien gets up to speed like that, and uh, yeah. and the franchise MC does his thing from uh, Damien's place. So yeah. tonight they just did it on Zoom. You know, they use this Zoom that we use here. And, How did it go? Hmm? How did it go? Not a hitch. No problem. All right. 
He got right on. Boom, boom, boom. I told him how to do it. Yeah. We're okay. Well, Damien's, Damien's very uh, smart and very computer well, savvy. Well, and it's not that difficult either. I mean, uh, yes, he is. I, I always feel very safe when I know that Damien is going to be doing something. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, 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 he was safe and he was doing a good. And uh, uh, so that was fine. You know, the only problem is there are a couple of problems. The problem is that the person after you, before he goes on, if he's going to use Zoom, cannot mm -hmm. use it until you're off and not using it anymore. Because if he suddenly decides to start using it, you get disconnected. Oh, I see. Because you only have one Zoom account. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And another Zoom account would cost me about $147 a year. And uh, I just don't think for a couple of programs it's worth it. You know, when I've already got one, and if we simply are respectful of each other, it'll work well, fine. This, this is the good thing. Damien, uh, you can trust to sign out. I mean, you know, it, I, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack comes on after you, and I know that you'll sign out. So therefore, yeah. uh, you, you don't have a problem. Until well, I don't have a, a problem unless Jack decides, hey, I think I'll sign in to uh, uh, Skype early, and then I lose my signal. Ah, well, he's got to so know. So then I've got to sign back in to drop his signal. I mean, yeah. he, you know, so he's, well, it, it, he's just Is that what happened a few minutes ago when I tried to log on around 7.15, 7.20? Uh, I got cut off. I got a thing that said uh, the host ended uh, the, the thing. So that's why I wrote you and well, said... Well, I was uh, turning it on and problems. off and, and trying oh. a couple of things to kind of, you know, just test it out. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to see if I could... See, I want to be able to have a second account, one that's only 40 minutes and free, okay? Yeah. Because what happens, let's say I want to call Jack's show. Well, I can't call him using my account. Right. Right. So yeah, I that's got, true. So I got to have a second account. So what I have now is a second account. Yeah, so that you used I can, to have two two Skype accounts. You had a personal and uh, and yeah, the. I had several. I bought four yeah. of them. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. Listen, I got to tell you about Skype. These guys are scumbags. Yeah. You know, ever since Microsoft took them over, you knew that the wonderful days of Skype. It was a good system. It really was. I mean, it's yeah, served, it was served us very nicely to begin with try talking to anybody at skype just try oh i you've you've had that for years uh, you couldn't get through to those guys. no but there's no way to talk to them try writing them there's no way to write to them yeah to complain the only way in which i've had any communication back and forth is when i when I said that I I, I needed to uh, uh, I I needed to figure out you know give me a new password yeah and then I had to go through answering this literal pages and pages of questions uh, you're on it by the way name yeah. five people that you've written to yeah name two subjects that have been in the subject line I mean. This kind of bullshit. Who can remember that well, stuff? No, but why, well, I mean, I had to do some research to do it. But the question is, why do they need the answers to all these questions? These are questions that, quite frankly, I don't feel good about giving them. Well, uh, you had a you had uh, Walter's radio show, and I had a call in at, via phone on Skype, mm -hmm. and to to get it, to get into mm -hmm. that show. And uh, I still have nineteen dollars and eighty-two cents credit <laughs> with Skype. That every six months or I've so, I've got probably about sixty dollars worth of credit between all the accounts. They're welcome to it. Yeah, it's the only okay. time I ever used it was to uh, was to but, do but, what we but had. But I to just do. decided after this that no more Skype. To begin with, it's an inferior system to this. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, the only thing it's good for, it, and by the way, I was looking for a way that you could start like another channel. Like I've got, I had, yeah. uh, I had a Bennett, uh, 210. Yeah. I had, uh, this one Gabnet live. I had mm -hmm. great American broadcast. Yeah. Uh, I had Alex Bennett. Okay. So there's four of them. 
Yeah. Uh, you can't even get one of them now. I, I guess when you sign up for the first time, they give you one. But oh. then they give you one with a weird name that you can't change, like 479V7637B. Well, that won't work for you. No. So, you know, I mean, what is with these people? Are they, do they have a death wish for their company? <laughs> I think they do. Uh, yeah. Well, I do know that there's a, uh, uh, there's something available. I was just watching, uh, you know, waiting, waiting for this. I was watching uh, Alex Jones testify. Oh, God. Uh, have you been uh, watching and, that? Yeah. That now, InfoWars may be available, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, you know, so you can maybe get InfoWars.com. Do you know that his invoices, uh, his his gross income in intake, now I don't know if he had to pay other, I'm sure he had to pay other people, yeah, yeah, $160 yeah. million. Dollars. What? Uh, yeah, they, they asked him on the stand, what, uh, what were these invoices? Well, that was income, and I think it was for a year. Was a hundred and sixty million dollars testimony under oath on the stand. So, yeah, but uh, he's been lying anyway. So, how do you know that testimony is is real? You well, know? it's sworn, and I, I yes, think his and so his, are other things that he's lied about on the well, stand. I, I think right now his uh, tushy is so puckered. Uh, uh, because of what's going on. I was on. watching it, it uh, Law and Order, or Law and yeah, Joking yeah, it. Law and Order channel, yeah. right? Has it, and I was watching it on uh, YouTube, and I yes. was watching him for a couple of minutes, and the questions they were asking him, and how he was sweating like a roasted hog. Is he a hundred and fifty pounds heavier than he used to be? He's one hundred and fifty pounds heavier than you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but <laughs> anyway. Sure. He, he's going on and on about this stuff, and I'm thinking, this guy will wind up killing himself. He'll wind well, up taking I was a wondering, bullet, a bullet I was wondering if head. that's what he was doing with all of that weight, because I don't remember seeing pictures of him that heavy. Now, they could Photoshop his stuff, and, you know, who knows. Well, I but, think he's trying to pack in as much food as possible before he can't afford it anymore. Well, I think maybe it's called suicide by food. It could be. You know. Could you be. ever think about that? Yeah, could be. You know, people get depressed, they eat. Yeah. And, uh, so anyway, hundreds, yeah. $160 million. Did you hear that testimony? Yeah. It was the uh, first uh, uh, group of, uh, the first YouTube yeah. testimony when yeah. they swore them in. By the way, also, then on top of everything else, I had a thing today where uh, Windows forces you to, you know, reboot. Are you still using the Windows machine? Well, I, I use the, all the music on this show, and I do the Monday show on on the on the the Windows machine. Uh, but if they force you, you know, yeah. and they keep nudging you, do you want to do it now? Will you do it tomorrow? Please do it tomorrow. Would you? Would you? And uh, so finally today, I said, hell, well, I can't take the nudging. So I said, I have an a fifteen minutes free here. Let it, you know, redo it. So, so it yeah. resets itself up, and then I can't reach that machine from all the other machines because I'll have them on a network. Yeah. I can't figure out why. When it rebooted, it switched off from a thing called uh, private to public or the other way around, and that's why I wasn't able to get it, but it took me 15 minutes to figure it out. Now, that's in the middle of all this other crap that's been going on. Sure. Well, uh yeah, let's see. Uh, you know, I understand the frustrations over computers well, well, when your car, what? when your car's not running right. Men seem to, you know, they they take it personally. It actually affects your health when your computer's not running right. Same thing. It kind of affects well, your I, health. I, I'm better because in the old days I used to go insane if something went technically wrong. Yeah. Now I don't go insane. I just get ill. Yeah. Well, okay. It's close and enough. I'm like I'm like dizzy and Marjorie yesterday was saying, Why are you, you know, so out of it and I didn't get sleep the night before. And you can't go to sleep until you accomplish what you gotta accomplish. Uh, and I right? had to take two Xanax Yeah. To get me to sleep and so the next day I'm bumping into walls and Marjorie's worried about me, you know, you're stumbling all over the place and you know, I mean, this thing has made me physically ill to the point where I told her yesterday, I said 
I think I'm just going to stop doing this. You know, I mean, I can do other stuff that, you know, I got to tell you, this is a great story. So mm-hmm. Marjorie and I go out for a walk the other day. I can barely. Yeah, I, I, can, I, I saw I, that one. I, and I got to say, I can barely walk anymore. I'm getting mm-hmm. that way. You know, it's getting difficult. And so we go for a walk. And uh, we do this video, which you saw. How many do you, how many, uh, uh, um, maybe if I get a couple hundred people watching this every night, I'm lucky. Mm-hmm. Okay? I consider that a decent night. How many people do you think watch that silly little video of Marjorie and I showing you turtles in a pond? Probably 600, and that's a guess. Oh, try 800. Really? Actually closer to 900, yeah. Well, you almost got lost. She said go this way, you said go that way. Oh, it was but interesting. It, it's, it was... It's, it's special. You know, uh, you look at these people that, that are doing stuff, now, I was just watching after the Alex Jones thing. I was watching this guy that's teamed up with a guy who finds scammers. And he found this scammer who uh, goes in, uh, t- makes it look like you've got uh, $5,000 in your bank account. Wait, is it, wait a minute. Is this the guy who scams the scammers? Right, yes. Yeah, yeah that is the best. Oh, oh that absolutely. That is the best. Because you're sitting there. It's like he calls it with some... Somebody who's like, uh, you know, just a, one of these, uh, sp- you know, uh, spam callers. Right. And then he knows how to get into their computer. Right. Well, what this guy did was he, he was scamming people and he found out that he had scammed people in a month over uh, $60,000 in, in, in monies. Well, it turns out that the guy lives 20 miles south of Los Angeles. And uh, so they went to the guy's luxury apartment and they were going to try to get the guy out and and take pictures of him and 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 harass him, uh, but it was a, a high security building, and I, I didn't get to see the end of it. I'll I'll see it a well, little what, later. Well, there's this one guy. I don't know if it's the same guy you were going. And well, chubby guy. No, with no, 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 no. Uh, trilogy. It's called no, trilogy. No, no. Well, there, he he teamed all, up with that scammer them, guy. All of them are imitating this other guy. I can't remember oh, what okay. his name is now. But this other guy, I mean, he will find guys in India who are making, yeah. you know, the calls saying, you know, would you like in this or that or whatever and, and a scam of one sort or another. And then he will go and he will take their call. And then through one way or another, because he's an old hacker himself, he mm-hmm. figures out how to get into their computer that they're using to call him. <laughs> right. And then he erases all their hard drives. Very nice. And you're sitting there. Right. That's justice. Yeah. That's oh. justice. That's justice. Yeah. Uh, well, talking about justice. Yes. Uh, your friend, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy now, you're Pelosi. probably going to be surprised at my position on this. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, a lot of Republicans, uh, especially the first uh, before she went to Taiwan, mm-hmm. were against the visit. You know, oh, she's going to cause World War Three, things like that. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought about it and I said, you know, I don't think it's a good thing for America, the United States to be bullied uh, by uh, by uh, communist China and that Taiwan is an ally of mm-hmm. the United States. Mm-hmm. And I feel that she should go there and uh, and and not. Uh, bend to their uh, their wishes. It would really put us at a disadvantage if she didn't go. Now, Biden didn't want her to go. Uh, I think the Biden administration might be compromised uh, when it comes to China. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know uh, what they have on him or his or his or his uh, his administration. But for one reason or another, whenever there's something to do with China, Biden backs down. And but Pelosi didn't. And uh, um, as I said, many of the Republicans were coming out against Pelosi. And then I saw uh, Mike Pompeo uh, actually uh, echo exactly what I'm saying, is that I thought that she did the right thing uh, by standing up uh, to China, going and and, and visiting. Well, I I think that she did the right thing by going once China threatened. Okay. I don't know. Under normal. uh, 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 Yeah. Under normal circumstances, I would say, don't go. Okay. Yeah, why poke the bear? Why poke the bear? But as long as the bear was threatening you, you gotta go. 
Now, this uh, the bear may end up not doing anything, and uh, the uh, that would actually weaken uh, Xi Jinping. I guess his name is. Uh, you know, and I always and I thought that maybe it's she, he, they, Jinping, you know, just to be woke. Uh, but uh, he's, bi- and, he's binary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I agree with what she did. And, I, you know, I saw what they did to Hong Kong. Now, Hong Kong belongs to China, but Taiwan doesn't. It has its own government. And um, yeah, but China doesn't think that. Well, that's too bad. No, I mean, China doesn't think that. They, you know, you know. I mean, hell, Trump thinks he's president. Well, you know, so, I mean, come on. People are delusional. Yeah, well, you know. you've been very supportive of China over the last few years. Well, I'm, has I'm your support- opinion changed? I'm, I'm su- well, my opinion has not changed about the people. I think they're Oh, wonderful. of course not. Uh, I think they're one. I, I love the Chinese people and their food. Yeah, and their food. <laughs> You still want delivery to your house. That's why you're Ports, saying yeah. it. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, I've I never been a big fan of the Chinese government. I think, no. I think the government has been, I think, stupid. Okay? Because what they're doing is they are so used to having power and wielding power and uh, being powerful that they don't like anybody who in any way questions or comes between them and that power and not obeying their beliefs and so on. Rule. Rule, yeah. And I think they're stupid to do that. I think when, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Oh, I'm trying to think of his name, the uh, old Chinese leader. Mao Zedong? Not Mao, the guy after him. Um, um, I'll remember it in a minute. You know, I've just been... (laughs) <laughs> My brain's been screwed up for, for months here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Deng Xiaoping. Uh, Deng Xiaoping um, opened up China to trade. He's the guy that started really allowing Hong Kong to do the kind of business they were doing, allowing Shanghai to be this did, uh, did, this did area. He, yeah. Uh, did he negotiate? Who negotiated uh, with uh, Kissinger and Nixon uh, uh, the opening of China? I think that might have been done. It might have been done. Oh. Xiaoping, could have been, could have been. All right, uh, but I will say one thing about him. Uh, he was really good about this, and he really did a great job of it. And what happened was China started to prosper. And he was being interviewed by Mike Wallace on 60 Minutes, and Mike Wallace said, "I thought you were against capitalism." He says, "No, I have nothing against capitalism as long as it benefits everybody." He was still, you know, being a communist when he said that. You know, he said that that the only thing he has uh, against capitalism is when it's greedy and it doesn't help everybody. You know. Well, uh, you know, I have a little different view. But Dung, Dung, more independent. Dung literally opened up China, you know, yeah. and and freed it up. And everybody was getting used to this freedom, and they had this wonderful thing going in Hong Kong. Hong Kong was doing just great business and uh, all these companies I mean if you'd seen Beijing when I went there I had somebody show me pictures 20 years earlier where it was nothing but dirt roads and now Beijing it has these buildings you wouldn't believe the kind of metropolis were, were you become. being handled though uh, by uh, uh, them showing you only what they wanted you to see no. Uh, no. Uh, because I, no. I saw a YouTuber uh, that uh, uh, does these uh, things about China, and that you could see that they brought him to certain locations to, uh, I can't to say, put their I, best foot forward. I can't say. And they that, didn't let him go in other... No, I, I, I can't say that I, I had any indication of that. Okay? Yeah. Had no indication of that. Uh, we were uh, ushered around by this person from Marjorie's company that they were uh-huh. paying for to drive us around and show us stuff and so on and I, so and forth. And that wasn't required, maybe, by the government? No, no not at all. Uh, because then we left her for about, uh, I think it was four or five days, and went to uh, uh, another part of China 
Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we traveled in that area, and we hired a guide, you know, to take us around, but he didn't have anything to do with the government. We, we chose who we wanted, you know. Uh -huh. Uh, we never had that kind of situation where we felt we were being watched or followed uh, or, uh, you know, taken on a guided tour that made us see what we wanted to see. No, no. We had free run of the place, you know, so. Interesting. Well, you know, because uh, I'd heard stories that when, uh, when uh, uh, European or American uh, tourists uh, go to China, they, they have areas that they have these big apartment buildings. They're empty, and they, they show you this, but they're really a facade. And uh, Well, those were those buildings they built when they were overbuilding, and they never were able to get people to move into them. Had you heard, and I know that Marjorie was in the banking business with a Chinese bank, but I'm, I'm hearing that there's a number of Chinese banks, especially some of the Internet ones, that are uh, having big financial problems, closing, people can't get their money out, and China is, is facing very serious banking problems right now. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know anymore. All I know is that things are not like they were. When I was over there, and that was, what, admittedly, it's 10 years ago now. Wow. Uh, they were prosperous. Everybody was happy. You know, uh, uh, Beijing was this, this absolute metropolis. Uh, I mean, it was all, it was, it was actually one of the most wonderful countries I've ever visited. Yeah. And then we went down to, uh, uh, where was it, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, what do you call it, the Lee River? And Lee so River, on. where yeah. they float the uh, candles? No. No, what's that? Well, they do that, I guess, maybe. I, I have no idea, but oh. it, it just happens to be those wonderful, you know, triangular mountains and so on. It's, it's beautiful. And then we, we went out into the countryside and we went to the rice paddies and up into the hills of the rice paddies and all of that, something I probably couldn't do now. Uh, and uh, it was wonderful. And nobody at any time told us where we had to go or where we couldn't go. Oh. You know, so, I mean, uh, is it that way? Maybe it's that way now in China. I don't know. But it wasn't yeah. back then. I don't know how old that video was and exactly what the angle of it uh, that, uh, you know, this guy was being handled. And uh, there, there was like five people that he could identify. Are you sure you uh, weren't watching a video about North Korea? No, no, no. This was definitely China. North, but, Korea, uh, the, North Korea. I'm sure it's happens. the same thing. No, not the same thing. In North Korea, I mean. You can't go anywhere without a government right. person. Without a handler. Yeah. Well, with, with this guy, uh, he was videotaping the whole thing. He had a camera crew. And you could see, uh, he would say, this is person number one, person number two, person number five. Mm -hmm. And it was the same people. No matter where he went, there were the same observers, Chinese observers, and they were trying to blend into the crowd, but they were the exact same people. And I, you know, I was taken back by it, and I said, well, gee, I wonder if they're really... Uh, handling it to that point. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I once, uh, I went to Zurich mm -hmm. and um, I was walking around Zurich and it was, there was, ha they were having an OPEC meeting mm -hmm. and I, the only room I could get was at the Dolder Grand Hotel. It was up, up the tram. Mm -hmm. So what ended up happening was this Russian guy approaches me and he starts talking to me and, and Susan and, uh, you know, getting he you know, he wanted to know who, you know, where, what I was doing and why I was there. And, you know, when I and when he figured out I'm a tourist and I was looking to buy a watch, uh, then uh, he said, oh, go over there and uh, you can get it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. You know, I he was probably and this was in the 80s. He was probably KGB. Well, and, you know, who, who knows? Was this in Russia, you say? No, this was in Zurich, Switzerland, and I was staying at the at the at the uh, penthouse at the Dolder Grand Hotel. It was the only room available. I, I we got on a train. There was uh, the the this gal who was the president of Evan Picone Hosiery said, "Well, if you come to Zurich, we'll buy you dinner." All right, so we went to Zurich. Uh, we were just going to go to uh, uh, Chiasso, 
or uh, Lake, uh, I think it was Lake Como. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we, we went up to Zurich. Uh, I said, where are you staying? She says, Dolder Grand Hotel. I tried to get a room, cheaper room, couldn't get one, and mm-hmm. so we checked in there. By the way, uh, Kevin says your mic is loud as usual, so turn it down. Oh, you Would know, you I think please? I just got to push it away a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Is that that better? worked? Yeah, that I think worked. they were following you around because you were wearing that fake Rolex watch. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I uh, actually didn't I, have. I a think Rolex. he was wearing the Make America Great Again. Uh, hat. <laughs> yeah. No, this was. Uh, by the way, hello to Charlie Wallace, who now is wearing a T-shirt. Now, now come closer uh, with that T-shirt. Let well, tell us what it says, Alex. Uh, let me see here. And it was delicious. <coughs> minus Something one. pie. Yeah. Okay. I, what? Do you think I you can, can, can you read it? Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. You got a cat. Oh, you guys got yeah. a cat. And he's trying to he's trying to eat my uh, cabbage. Oh, that's a kitty. That's a yeah. kitty. How old is he? How old he's is he? He's a uh, four months and uh, he, 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 four four months and uh, one week old. <laughs> is Adrian? He just came on here when he heard the big mouth. I mean, he heard Phil come. So. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Now, is does Adrian love the cat? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know she's she's six, so it's. Yeah, she's a little rough with the cat right now, but she's she's learning. A little rough with the cat. Not not rough like beating up the cat, but you know yeah. it's just you know you, you got to be smooth with hey, the cat. Adrian, so it's been... Adrian, Adrian, can you hear me? The the whiskers aren't detachable. Okay. <laughs> Your daddies <laughs> are, but you not the cat. Ideas. Oh my god! Did I get my tooth in. Sorry, I got to put my tooth in. <laughs> God, yeah, so an, actually, he's very pretty good. But he oh. wants one. Go ahead, go ahead, take it. Yeah, he's he's very beautiful. I, I love the yeah. I love the markings and his tails. All uh, got a little white white at the end, you oh, know. Wow. Yeah, it's yeah, I really like. Is it male? Yeah, he's a male. Okay, so he's and good. we got him from. Uh, okay, go ahead. We got him from uh, Humane Society, so it's good. Good, so a rescue. Yeah. Good, yeah. bravo. One for less you. animal to be I killed. He, he wants to stay in here. Can you turn on the light and then turn it low? Okay. You know, uh, so far, a- every morning this week, uh, the guy who works for me as my uh, office manager, yeah. he's the photographer for the Oakland Zoo, mm-hmm. and they rescued two tigers that were emaciated from, mm-hmm. uh, it, it had something to do with that tiger guy, yeah. uh, uh, Tiger yeah. King or something. Yeah. yeah. And anyway, uh, they ended up with these two tigers, and they oh, nursed no. them back to health, mm-hmm. and... Uh, and then they, the ti- him to take photos, uh, but and then, uh, and then the tigers ate them. Yeah, no, it, it well, rained. The tigers the were from Mar- 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 Lago, the weren't they? Uh, no, no, they didn't okay, want to. Now, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let's get back to, let's get back to Charlie's teeth. I know. So- sorry, I interrupted, but I just thought that's the only moment the cat's gonna stay here for a second. So sorry to interrupt. Okay. Uh, okay. I actually got high fives in his shirt. Uh, okay. okay, but it had something to do with pie, and it was delicious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I don't know the rest of it. So would you explain? Pie is. Huh? E is minus three. Minus one is I. Yeah. Two cubed is eight. Okay. Sigma is the sum sign. I ate some, I pie, ate some pie, and it was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Are you? Do you have a like a subscription service to get these? No, they just pop up on the on Amazon Prime, and then if I see one I like, I order it. Huh. And because he knows this, it's funny to him. Yeah. Do people as you yeah. wear walking down the street? Do they say what does that mean? A lot of people do. Nobody got it. This first time anybody ever got it was at, at the really? store. Really. Really. Son of a what illiterate people we have in this world, yeah, huh? It's really sad. Yeah. If I see one I like, I order it. Oh, we got, somebody's got to turn down their audio. It's funny to him. Somebody's got to turn down yeah, the audio. Kevin, Kevin you just popped on, on so much. There's some noise coming from Kevin. Hey, Kevin, you got to stop it there. there you, he'll, he'll do it in a second. There, there he goes. Okay, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, Alan. Alan. Alan, thank you. Thank you. So, Phil sent you 51 pages of Trump's accomplishment. <laughs> if you open the email, you'll see the first 50 pages are blank. 
And the other page is like written like well, he likes all it. Well, I know is he, he sends me he sends me this stuff, and I go, "Why is he wasting his time? He knows I'm going to say, hey, this is Damn from Tr this is from Trump, you know." But it's it's good. It, did you see any of those things? Oh I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, your your friend. Uh, One Tony. of them was he ate pie. Yeah, <laughs> and he and it was delicious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, Tony, I think is turning, changing his attitude about Trump. How is that? About Trump. Yeah. Well, no. I all I heard, I heard from from somebody. Oh yeah. That Probably. he. Huh. Shecky. 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 Exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that he, it, it affected his friendship with him. So I told Tony. You know, it's not worth it. Uh, just if it bothers him, don't bring it up. Yeah. Oh, is that the reason he backed off? Yeah. No. No. Well, I can't. How would you know, Alan? You've been blocking him for months. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. That makes your life so much easier. He's still a Facebook friend, and we communicate there, but Messenger. I told him that. You know, if if it bothers people, you don't. Well, now you can move closer bludgeon. to your mic. Now you can maybe move you ought closer. to take your own advice. You can move if closer. If it bothers to your people, mic. why do you keep giving us Trump stuff? Because you deserve it. I want to bother you. You can move <laughs> closer to the mic now, Phil. Oh, okay. Is yeah. that better? That's better. A little better. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so I really was exhausted. The last couple of days i mean so much so that i just said i don't know if i'm going to do this anymore because i just you know it, i'm tired of putting out fires I'm just tired and it exhausts me because uh, you know when something goes wrong technically you know guys we don't just let it sit there that's right we got we got to solve the problem and what i've got here is tons of different problems oh Speak his name three times and he will show up. It's like, You've got a half a dozen Mac Minis. Why don't you just have backups that that all you'd have to do is plug it in and and you're and you're up and running. What do you mean? I don't understand what you're saying. Well, you've got the studio. Hey, listen, uh, the one up. thing that is giving me no trouble at all is the Phil can make a mess out of anything electronic. Is the new computer? The new computer is, you know. Perfect, perfect. Oh, uh, and did you say it's the Ultra or the Max that's the one to get? The, the, uh, um, which is which? Uh, the, the Max. I don't know. The cheaper of the two. The cheaper. Okay. The Max. I think that's the Max. Yeah, yeah. You don't need it. No, I don't. But you, you know, my thing is getting hot. I, I'm going to move my computer. Uh, uh, I, the the wire's too short. Trash cans get hot, but I'll tell you something. This thing doesn't even seem like it's on. It yeah. is cool all the time, and there's never any fan noise. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm just thinking about the future, and uh, so what I did was I tried to move my monitor, and the uh, HDMI cord was too short, so I bought a new HDMI cord for the monitor, and now the camera uh, cord <coughs> is too short. So I'm just gonna move the I'm gonna move the computer closer to the monitor. So your cable's too short. Yes. <laughs> Hello to Jeff. Are you uh, are you in uh, Connecticut or are you somewhere else? You're muted, Jeff. You're muted. Are, are, are okay. you, are you uh, talking? Oh, are we doing signs again? All right. Oh, I, I can do. It. Which is. Yeah. <laughs> How's this? Yeah. Are you Good. are you still oh. are you still at home? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm room. at home. You're in a different room. Yeah, I know. I know. I have some people who are <laughs> visiting. You, you know, uh, every from Germany. Yeah, oh, okay. uh, every most Saturdays, uh, Kevin and I and uh, Patrick and Josh get together and talk. Okay. Um, it's not broadcast. Nothing like that. It's just we sit here and we just bullshit i'm usually the first one to pass out um but the other night and didn't you find the other night especially interesting kevin with some of the stuff that josh was bringing up about the history of the united states and the writing of the constitution 
And, yeah. And all yeah. the all the terrible things that were going on when they were doing that. Yeah. Did you did you know about any of that? No, a lot of it a lot of it was uh is published, but you know, they don't teach you that stuff. Yeah. And the, you know that the torts and all that stuff the pretty, whatever. Like when there was actually a war after the war or or you know, slaughter after the war. Yeah. Yeah, that, it went that, on. There was a treaty signed, but people were still beating the shit out of each other, and 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 <clears throat> you know. Everybody thinks the war ended at your right. each other and everything else. As uh, as as uh, uh, Josh put it, everybody thinks the war ended with Yorktown, and it didn't. And that there were people, for instance, who were pro-British during that time that after the war, literally were thro- they they were. Uh, homes were sold, and uh, uh, there some of them were killed. I mean, it was pretty violent. And it's after. interesting because I was going through a, a couple of documentaries today, and I and I I ran across one that started talking about that, but I couldn't watch the whole thing because I had to leave. But it started talking about that kind of stuff after. Yeah. yeah. So we weren't so wonderful when we wrote the Constitution either. You know, uh, and it was it was some some pretty horrible stuff he was saying went on during that period of time. Uh, how did uh, Hamilton and and uh, Jefferson and some mm-hmm. and some of the other authors play into this? Uh, uh, well, scenario? one of them became a musical. My uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> didn't didn't he get shot by Aaron Burr? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this around 18? No, 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 17. 17, the Constitution. Really? Yeah, it was all about the, he was talking about the Constitution and that it didn't come about as easily as you would think or as inspired as you think. You know, that it was a pretty arduous process in which a lot of people got killed. A lot of people were, you know, uh, vilified and, it was not. It was not. Not pretty. Not this pretty. Was around seventeen seventy six. In right? fact, I didn't even know. Do you know? I I never knew the difference between the Whigs and the Tories till I talked to him the other night. Who were they? Either. Do you know the difference? Anybody here besides Kevin, who was there the other night, know the difference between the Whigs and the Tories? Trump is a Whig. <laughs> no, that's a comb over. Uh, okay, <laughs> close. Yeah. Uh, one conservative, one liberal. I don't know. No. Okay. Uh, the uh, Whigs was it the Whigs that were pro uh, that were pro uh, King. And the, yes, yes, yes. And, and the Tories were pro Republic. You know, pro democracy. <laughs> you know, uh, and I guess that's why the the. Uh, the wigs didn't last that long. You know. We just ripped them right off. Yeah, <laughs> they ripped them right I off. Loved them. Yeah. But it was a very interesting discussion. I almost wish it would have been broadcast because I think it was so educational <coughs> people should have heard it. You Maybe know? you can uh, uh, continue to generate it another night with Josh on. It, well, we thought about doing that on Friday nights and just having you know, the four, four of us together and doing it but you see the thing is that it wouldn't be as good because and i think kevin would agree with me is that the reason it's as good as it is because nobody's worried about reprisals of anything they say but why don't you right? give them a half hour before a show like no no because if, 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 because we would take wouldn't you agree <clears throat> kevin we would take the feeling of the discussion uh, uh the 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 reason for it out of it if we were to broadcast it well what he's saying about i think he's talking about the um, the history portion with josh well i'm just talking about the discussion we have and the way we well, yeah, talk we with each other that. and so on that if all of a sudden we knew it was other people could hear us doing it it would change the the nature of the discussion i think the history would be interesting to your listeners no, but that's not the point I'm making. Oh, sorry. Uh, they have a certain, they have a certain uh, they have a uh, privacy aura thing. or or a certain uh, a camar- not camaraderie, but a certain uh, 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 they jive together on these Saturday things, and it makes the it's it's comfortable. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, uh, I think people are a little more careful about what they say when they know everybody can hear them. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Tony. It, 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 except for Tony, but then yeah, again. Like he's talking about Chinese food. <laughs> Tony's meant, yeah, messages. Yeah, they're very. Yeah, I keep, I keep, I keep, anybody, but. I keep begging these guys. we got to add Tony to this group, but they don't agree with me, so. <laughs> No, I, 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 I've been trying to find out how you take you know. Tony's audio calls to me uh, uh, and uh, their, their oh, recordings, wow. but I don't know how you can copy them <laughs> and send them so that you can play with them. Uh, you know, uh, there's no way. <laughs> I would, have fun with those. <laughs> yeah, I, I think maybe I mean, there, there might be some sort of cable I could get and I can uh, probably find you download it into this Zoom, which would has a chip in it. And then maybe I could turn it into an audio file. Well, I think that if, Tony, way to get off the if phone, Tony, Tony knew that every call he made to any of you <laughs> was going to be yeah. broadcast, Don't forget oh, it. he wouldn't <laughs> call any of you. <laughs> it's it's cool. wonderful. <laughs> yeah, really. I have no filter. Like, still, I'm getting thrown out of school again. You can leave me. <laughs> I'm going to McDonald's. He still calls Phil, and Phil advertises his stuff all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah, but uh, and some, of these, wasn't some really. of these are these rants are, are pretty good, and Alex could have a lot of fun with them. Oh, he could, yeah. Uh, if I can. sometimes we talk about Alex in fun now, right, Phil? What we talk about Alex in fun now? Oh no, oh, no, no, you no. talked I told, about I told me. He died the other day. No, no, oh no, we just joke about it, not in a bad sense. We think, I wonder oh, how can Alex not think this is funny. And then you called him. He's yeah. poisoned. He, he, he calls me up and he and he and he says some. He's bullshit. gotta think this is so funny. Do you, you, know. you, you tell actually you? gave him your phone number, <laughs> Phil? <laughs> let's figure it out. They don't listen to you, Alex. I always <laughs> told them, why don't you listen to him? <laughs> it's published, you know, on the uh, on the website. I told but, that to Shecky, Alex, so many times. You never listen to Alex. What? He told you don't invite him over. He's like, now he knows where you live. I said to Shecky, I said, the, you know. You should. You, the big mistake you ever made was to try and be nice to Tony. That. They always reference you, Alex, in a funny way. Because like, I, 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 I told Shecky, I said, Tony doesn't fuck with me. He doesn't he dare. Me, then I listen. You're like my father. You yell at me once. I'm like, okay, you put me in my place. Well, that's because you pat him down when he leaves your apartment to make sure he's he yeah, get all, all the silverware back. I don't have anything. I swear. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, Tony keeps threatening to come out here in September. There's no, probably big... in the winter. And when the basketball starts, I'm going to come out there. When is that? Uh, the Warriors so, start playing, what, end of October? November, beginning of November is uh, NBA. Oh, then oh. you're going to miss the big party in September. we got a bunch of people coming over. Champagne, caviar. Oh. And mm -hmm. I'll get McDonald's burgers oh, for you. So that you can would be nice. I haven't had McDonald's in a while. You're no, going to get no. on an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little scared of taking off, Alex, but then once I'm off, I'm okay. Wait a minute, that's not what I'm talking about. There's a little thing called COVID out there. Yeah, you ever right. see that those YouTube people that get thrown off of airplanes because they're either drunk or they're uh, disruptive, <laughs> uh, especially Probably. Southwest Airlines? Tony yeah. is going to be on one of those shows. You know, we'll never make it out of here because they'll, they'll throw them off the plane. I, and I do bring you okay, Corey, but I got to stay on the plane. As long as you bring people uses. If we wait long enough, he'll be on an episode of Cops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what am I doing in the car here? You got the wrong guy. They oh, all boy. said you got the wrong guy. They all said he was such a nice, quiet guy, but then yeah. one day he murdered everybody in the neighborhood. Hey, I got one call. Bell I'll tower. Fill up. <laughs> fill when a high you know, he, keeps, he keeps asking me if I'll uh, take him now shooting. You're too loud again. Oh, you just he keeps get, asking me if I'll they, take him shooting. You keep saying I'll take you shooting if I go out there. I mean, I never shot. A I don't say I'll take you. You ask oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. And he asked me too. Oh, I, I, I said if do I do not go. teach him how to use a gun. <laughs> yeah, give me some coffee saying to take me shooting. Give him some coffee first. Yeah. Yeah, give him some coffee. Imagine I turn around. Which way do I point this thing at? That way. Yeah. And can we talk about that piece of shit, Alex Jones? Oh yeah, yeah sure. Go now. ahead. Go ahead. You know, you know, <clears throat> you know. And I know some people have kids here, and some don't. And you know, I know. Ryan, I probably were you watching? 
That's you, it. Oh, and can you it. stop interrupting me for one second, please? I just want to know okay. if you were watching the video, the YouTube thing on, with. Well, obviously, he's watching it because he's, he's going to talk no. about it. <laughs> no. he's worse than oh, me. So, so, I mean, I mean, it goes, it goes back to you know his whole his whole rants about how fake all that Sandy Hook stuff was, and like you know, like we know, like Charlie's the older kids and Jeff older kids and Kevin. But, you know, Adrian is six and a half, and that's how you know, those kids were. That's their age of those kids. And, and I don't know how how I would handle, you know, having to hear stuff of him every night, you know, how fake it is, and people were fake, and actors, and all that stuff. I mean, I, I'm surprised. I mean, you, Alex, you mentioned maybe he's going to kill himself, and I hope he does. Yeah. What, what is that? Who's got something on there? Kevin. Kevin? Kevin. Kevin's, Kevin's little bar is lighting up. Mm. Oh. Yeah, go on mute, Kevin. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, so no, I, I, just can't, I can't understand how somebody hasn't taken that guy out already. I thought all he was the doing... the money he made off of all that stuff, you know? $160 million. I thought he was doing suicide by food. You know? Uh, because he, had, he had just... If that was the case, he should get your cookbook. Yeah, really. <laughs> You know, I mean, I, I, I think that the kind of thing that Alex Jones did was reprehensible. Because as a broadcaster, I always felt I owed a responsibility to my audience. And one of them was to keep them safe. That was one. Never to do anything that would put my audience in any kind of danger. And the other was to not spread, allow lies to be spread. And that was a sheer, utter lie and one that when you said it was true, you were hurting people. You were literally hurting people. One and, of the first things called, he said, Alex, one what? of the first things he said on the stand was he apologized and he said that the Sandy Hook thing was well, real. Of course Not he apologized. Okay, okay that, then, then if he apologizes, every dollar that he made off of that whole Sandy Hook getting ratings and all that stuff and his contracts and all that stuff, everything should be ripped around, uh, ripped off him. Off of him from that, and it won't be because he's hiding all this money. He's had so much time to hide his money. You pay people millions of dollars to hide, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. That's easy to do. Yeah, and then you go bankrupt, and nobody. Yeah, yeah, bankrupt. Anyway. Really? Yeah. Um, I I'm not sure that he can get out of that through bankruptcy. The, uh, some states don't don't allow that, and for one reason or another, I thought that he was on the hook. Where Where is that trial? I'm not sure, but I, I heard that he was on the hook. Uh, if uh, through well, his bank. whether he's on the hook or not, I'm sure he's got some of it put somewhere where they can't get at it. Okay, it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but I mean, uh, uh, yes, uh, Tony. You know what I don't get with that? I mean, I get it. He did it all. I mean, it's bizarre. Would you move Maybe. your camera so we can see more oh. of your face? What yeah. I don't get is with this guy Alex Jones. If you really, I'll, I'll try to be serious. Like. It's just, he, I mean, he strictly just did this to make money. I mean, how does he live with himself? I don't know if he did it to make money. How does he did Bernie it to, Madoff live with to himself? To be controversial. Oh, yeah, he, I think he did it to be controversial, and he didn't think about the consequences of doing that sort of thing. You know, there, there are certain things you can do, and, you know, you can argue whether it's right or wrong, but don't go after a bunch of kids who have been murdered. I mean, that's exactly it, Alex. The father could say, you want me to take you to my son's grave where he's buried, where he hasn't come home anymore? How can he even carry that on? Well, what he was claiming was that Sandy Hook never happened. Which is oh, even more bizarre. Well, you know, claim the Holocaust never happened. Well, but, I mean, uh, I think it, I hmm. think it was a fact that they, here you got a guy, Alex Jones, who every day was looking for a way to be more and more controversial than the last day. Mm -hmm. You know, and eventually he shot himself in the foot. Sounds like Donald Trump. Well, no. sounds yeah. like Tony learning well, how to Tom, shoot a Donald gun. Donald Trump was a little close on something like <laughs> this when he did the whole uh, Barack Obama wasn't born in this country bit because he was hurting the family. He was hurting the family, the mother, you know, his the, the grandmother, the children. He didn't give you a know. shit. And he, they, he, he didn't give a shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, he should have been gotten on that one, but there wasn't much that they could do. Yes, uh, Charlie, you got your hand up? Yeah, Alex Jones' trial is taking place somewhere in Texas. 
Oh, really? Oh. As a matter of fact, he said he was born in Texas and his career started in Texas. Wasn't it's his in whole Austin. It's place here in Austin? Yeah. Wasn't the opera his operation in Texas? Yes, he's he, yeah. in Austin. He he broadcasts from Austin. And the apartment's I, over from you. <clears throat> then he says he he has no text. Me he never texts anybody about anything about Sandy Hook. And now they they fumbled the his phone, and now everybody has his text messages from the last two years. Well, he says he didn't have any text messages, and then exactly. it turns out this is a great story. Yeah. His, his lawyer got all his text messages because Jones's lawyer was trying to send those. Uh, those uh, uh, are they transcripts, basically, or the actual recordings? I think they're the actual text messages. So okay, the text messages. Yeah. yeah, sent the actual text messages to the defense, the uh, offenses lawyer, uh, the people from, you know, uh, Sandy Hook. So they yeah. got all his emails by accident. Oh, All his text messages for, for the last two years, and it was so le it was legal because it was sent to them. <clears throat> and then yeah. they said, "You said that you never sent a text message about Sandy Hook." Boom, 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 boom. Here <laughs> they are, and he's doing a you know Ralph Crandom humma humma humma. Yeah. You know. Oh, I, I told you that I gave him my phone. I told you that I gave the lawyer my phone, but he won't address the, the text messages. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. It's pretty terrible, you know. But uh, well, apparently, he, he broadcast from thirteen thousand Pond Springs Road <laughs> in Austin. Are you doxing him now? He's doxing me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God damn it, Charlie! You weren't supposed to break up and laugh. How'd you know Charlie's address? Uh, because I sent him things on that. I had to go on Amazon and look it up. I don't save it. They think Alan does all day. Right. I, I, I don't him. have Brian's. Well, actually, I could I could find it pretty easy, but I don't have Brian's address or Kevin's address. Lucky them. Uh, I do have uh, uh, Tony's. If anybody <laughs> wants to blackmail him and start sending him, uh, you know, uh, Hustler magazine, he wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> Alex and Patrick uh, conspired to uh, get something from uh, who was the pr uh, the preacher that uh, oh, was, you uh, and Patrick. Uh, what's his stamped? name? Uh, the Reverend. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It wasn't Joel Olstein, was no, it? No, 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 no. There's another scumbag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would he would let anybody after the floods use his. No. His uh, yeah, arena yeah, to help yeah, help yeah. victims. Oh my God! Christ like, yeah. <laughs> they didn't want to get the carpets dirty. <laughs> okay, how much it cost to replace? Yeah. Oh, well, 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 Kevin, you remember the name of the uh, of the preacher that we? Jimmy Swigert. No, the Swigert or no, no, no. Uh, do, do you remember who it was at all? Was it Poppet? Remember? You're on mute, oh, yeah, Kevin. yes, you're close. Uh, yeah, uh, pa, 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 uh, uh, was Pop it? No, it was Pop it. It's close. It's close. It's not Pop it. It's... Are you talking about Jim Baker? No, no I'm talking about. Uh, uh, he said Pop it. That was close. Pop it, or some pop off. Or... Pop off. That's it. Yeah. The Reverend. What, what was some of the antics that you guys did to this guy? Didn't you send him the pennies, Alex? Remember you were telling him the rap don't don't. I thought, I thought uh, Patrick sent him the whole bag full of pennies. It was Alex's <laughs> idea. Well, no, the thing is that uh, Popoff had a um, a way you could send him stuff uh, without having to pay the postage, and what he would have to do is pay the postage. So I said, send him pennies. He had a permit, a, a postage yeah. permit. Yeah, and so every time he sent pennies, they, <laughs> they, they were like, you know, 20 pounds of pennies. <laughs> and and so he had to pay for 20 pounds of postage. <laughs> I hate those preachers. I just hate them. Didn't Patrick get holy water and some other stuff? Oh, yeah. he sent me all the stuff in a bag oh. that yeah. he got. And there was holy water and there were holy rags and holy mm. toilet paper i don't know all this stuff 
Uh, How did that work out? You stick your finger through the holy toilet paper and it, well, then use well, it? Well, we figured, we figured that he was, he, Patrick was the test. And we did this on Sirius XM. Patrick oh. was the test for all of this because we figured if Popoff could make him walk, <laughs> then the guy was legit. <laughs> but if he couldn't make him walk, fuck him. Yeah. You know? And uh, we, we he, he sent him... You know, he wrote him something, and they kept sending him stuff and sending him stuff and sending him stuff, and he never paid them off. He never sent them back anything. Mm. You know, uh, and uh, uh, hello, trucker Steve. Uh, he's back on the road again. Uh, so, uh, you know, I mean, I I I hated Popov. I thought he was just terrible. He was just terrible. Uh, you know, I I. It's funny, I always had an affection for Jim and Tammy Baker. <laughs> because they did what they said they were going to do. They said they were going to build an amusement park for Christians, and God damn it if they didn't do it. Yeah, they just sold 130% of it. No, those were timeshares in the, uh, the hotel. Oh. You know. But basically, they said they were going to build this place, and they did. And it was pretty awesome, actually, if you think about it. And then why shouldn't Christians have a good place to, you know, go fuck? You know? Who was the uh, one of the early adopters of... Uh, I used to watch him. It was interesting. He had really good hair, and uh, his wife would sing. It wasn't Tammy Baker, but uh, it, it, the guy uh, had a satellite. You would well, told a no, story. No, no, I'm telling you, that was Jim and Tammy Baker. I, no, I, no, no, I, this was another... Uh, because another I'll tell one. you the reason why they, they had a big downfall. They mm -hmm. had something these other guys didn't have. Jerry mm -hmm. Falwell wanted it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis's cousin uh, wanted it. <laughs> uh, and that was the fact that Jim... Baker and Tammy Baker were smart enough to get to, to buy a bunch, a couple of satellite transponders when they were really cheap. Okay, Radio so, Shack. No, so they could go out all over the country. Well, yeah. these guys wanted those transponders, and all he would do is sell them time on them. You know, and they didn't like that. They were jealous of that. And what they did is they set up this whole elaborate operation. To eventually throw Jim, um, Jim and Tammy out of the game, and to be able to get those transponders, Falwell said to Jim Baker, "I know you're in a lot of trouble right now. Sign over all the transponders to me, and I will take care of them until you're out of all this trouble, and I'll give them back to you." Well. He got out of, I guess he went to jail and he was out of it. When he came back, do you think he got the transponders back? No way. This was all over transponders. And, and uh, it was Falwell and Swaggart and a couple of other guys who plotted together to have the, to create the undoing of, uh, of Jim and, and Tammy Baker. But I used to watch their show every day. I loved it. Loved it. It was wonderful. You know, it was just terrific. I mean, uh, they were entertainers. And uh, uh, they used to have this thing at Heritage USA, I think that was the name of the amusement park, where there was, there was this kid who had no arms and no legs. And he, they used to have him on the show. And he would literally lie on the floor and roll around to each of them to talk to them, lying on his back. And so when they built this Heritage USA, they built Kevin's house. Excuse me, Kevin, but I think it was called Kevin's house. And it was his house with he and all his other friends who had other disabilities. In short, they were running a freak show, right? And uh, they had it so that they were very proud of the fact, you know, how, what is this trim you put up uh, in the, at the ceiling that goes around? It's kind of like the uh, uh, crown molding. Crown, well, not crown molding. This was actually wallpaper on the wall. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, you know what I'm talking about. 
Well, they had it at, at, at floor level. It's so floor they, level. Is, who's that? Parker, Steve. Dave. Steve, your radio's on. Your speaker's on. And you're freezing up on us like crazy. But anyway, uh, they had it all along the floor so Kevin could see it. I mean, it was just hilarious. It was just hilarious. He used to watch his show every day. And I was just amazed at, at you know, and then Tammy would come out and sing. And then uh, she would cry while she was singing. And she put on some fake And masks. she put on some fake masks. Oh, hey, uh, uh, Steve, your audio's bouncing back at us. Uh, uh, put your, put your uh, uh, thing on mute, uh, your audio on mute it it's is. just my iphone I'm, there's no noise in here really there is here yeah well, it came back at us but yeah. anyway anyway who knows anyway so i mean i used to watch this every day i found it endlessly entertaining especially and, 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 and charlie's agreeing with me right charlie did you used to oh, watch I, it i just watched replays or whatever the, the, the other people i never watched it live or anything Oh man, did you when you saw what you saw? Was it entertaining? I could see the entertainment of it, but I didn't like any of those creatures on TV. The guy I was trying to think of was Dr. Gene Scott. Oh well, him. He was. You crazy. remember him? He was. <clears throat> he was crazy. Yeah, you know, I, I'm. I'm not gonna say another word until you people give me a thousand dollars. Well, no. <laughs> also, he wanted money because he was getting a divorce and he needed it. To his lawyers and they were <laughs> sending him money <laughs> and, a jet plane. and then he would do like a half hour rant instead of giving a sermon he'd do right. a half hour rant against his wife yeah, and her right. lawyers yeah. yeah that's the guy with the good hair though yeah he had another he was another one of those guys who had an early transponder right that's who I was talking about I had a chance to buy one of those early transponders when we were doing Midnight Blue, some guy came to us from I don't know, RCA or somebody else and said, hey, you want? would you like a transponder? It only costs you like, I think, 1500 a week, a really cheap price. And we turned it down because we didn't have the money to do it. That was a lot was of money that, in those that days. financed by Al Goldstein? Well, Midnight Blue was financed by Al Goldstein, yeah. But he wasn't going to buy transponder. But if we had owned it, we would have made a fortune. Would have made a fortune. You could have gotten religious. Because what you would do is you would literally buy a transponder. Uh, that's a, you know, each one of these satellites had like 24 to 36 mm -hmm. transponders. I actually have a satellite dish. There were 24 channels for C-band and I think 32 for KU. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. So the transponder would go to a satellite. It yeah. would go to a TV station. It would, like it would, each would transponder would be capable of turning out one giant, humongous, go everywhere signal. So if you had a, a satellite and it had 24 transponders, you could have uh, NBC on this one and CBS on this one, and yeah, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah, and the people who bought them up early. Did okay. Another way I could have been a millionaire. <laughs> Hell with it. <laughs> you know. Well, if you would have bought that condo at Whiskey Springs, if, you would have. If been I had bought, if I had bought Sirius XM stock when it was at uh, what was it? Uh, how low a did nickel. it go? It was a nickel. It was right. a nickel. Okay, and I was thinking of buying it. Buy ten thousand dollars worth. It'd be worth. Many millions right now. It was about eight bucks. It's, it's no, it's about six bucks. It, it went to ten at one time. What? It, didn't they go to ten at one time? Oh, one time it was fifty. Oh. At the very beginning. Well, I bet you kicked yourself in the ass over that. It, well, of course I kicked myself in the ass, but I'm not that limber anymore, so I can't kick myself in the ass any longer. How you I think how, any of us that have done investing have made unknown boo boos like that. You know, they go, oh, you know, I like I bought Cisco, Cisco Systems, the company that puts out routers. Mm -hmm. I bought nine thousand shares at like fifteen dollars a share. You know, well, I bought, and, I bu yeah, I and, bought, I bought, yeah, I bought Poncho. Poncho. Yeah. 
What's that? What's that? Oh, Cisco oh. and Poncho. Oh. Oh, instead of Cisco. No, nobody gets that joke. I think Charlie. I got it. it. Yeah. Poncho. Um, and yeah, about 9,000 shares. Of I thought I'd pull a joke like that because Jack isn't here. And uh, he's, by the way, he had his operate. Oh, I got a call. How's him. he doing? I, you know, no, I didn't call today. I assume he's alive, but today he had his uh, big spine operation. Oh wow! And uh, he'll uh, he, he then they're sending him off to a rehab facility for a week, and then he'll be back and probably back on the air where I have to teach him how to use Zoom. <laughs> you know, maybe uh, Amy can help him. <clears throat> but if anybody, if Amy, if you're listening, uh, she didn't listen. Uh, maybe you know how he I'll, did. I'll write her and ask her how he's doing. Because there's no way that I could find out how he's doing because I, I, I don't even have the hospital. I just have his phone number. I talked to Amy. Huh? Oh, you did? I, 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 I talked to Amy, and Amy said surgery went fine. Oh, it did? Okay. I think that's what she said yesterday or something. I don't know. No, it can't be I yesterday guess, because hey, the surgery oh. was today. Oh, maybe yesterday was the circumcision. I missed out. <laughs> Yeah, he's, I, he, I, I sent him a message talking about cars. That usually cars yeah, get people's cars. mind off things. Let's yeah. talk about cars. Yeah, how is no, I said I sent that to Jack. I sent that message oh. to Jack about cars. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's all keep out a good thought. I'll send Amy a message. I already did. Huh? Why don't you send Jack a message? Somebody send <laughs> Amy a message. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, Irv Jackson is on uh, Messenger. How did your surgery go? He's got six accounts. Yeah, yeah. well, it, it'll take him three days to answer it. He didn't remember the he didn't remember the code for getting into any of them. Speaking of sending money, I, I know I know you don't like me listening to the Alex Bennett guy. Who's Watch, on I'll, the, I'll bring up my my what do you call it's going to come up here. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, let me see here. Jack Bishop, Bill <laughs> Jackson. Here we go. Uh, hi, how, how'd it go? How did it go? Okay. So we just all wait. Oh, yeah. Or, oh, wait a minute. I should put a question mark on that, shouldn't I? Okay, so uh, how'd it go? Okay, so now I, now I feel good. I've done my thing for today. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of cars and sending money to people, yeah, I, I I'm listening to those Alex Bennett, those Alex Bennett shows that the guy guys posting, and I know you don't like me watching, listen to that guy, but uh, they you, they had you were talking about uh, like getting a new Nissan, uh, the NSX, the Acura yeah. NSX, mm -hmm. and you told people you wanted to buy one, so you asked everybody to send a dollar. Yeah. Were you really getting money from people sending money? No. Soupy Sales did that. I never had a, never got an NSX. I know. Well, well, that actually, that would have been a nice car. car. Well, all my they're, they're, was, all my, all they're expensive all, now, too. They're, they're yeah, like, really they're expensive beautiful. now. All my right. friends at New Tech. You know, the yeah. trouble thing was with, uh, uh, with um, what do you call it, um, uh, tech companies. So all the people who worked at tech companies were big car guys, you know, and they all bought expensive cars. And the big car at New Tech at the time was the NSX, which I think at that time only cost about $75,000. But that was a lot of money in those days. For a yeah. Nissan? Yeah. But, oh, Acura these are NSX. gorgeous. Acura, oh, these are gorgeous. Acura, and yeah, Acura. Sorry, I said Nissan, but it's Acura, oh. Acura NSX. Oh, okay. No, so I far ahead of their time. It was a good Yeah, that car is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then when my friend uh, Paul who's no longer with us, went and started another company, which was, uh, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, God, my mind. Play Incorporated. Uh, he bought a Ferrari, okay? And the guy he started the company with owned a, what's the bigger one? The big car? The Lamborghini? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Diablo, I think it was. And the guy gave it to him as a gift. Mm. Wow. So now he had a Lamborghini Diablo. And we get in this car because we would take road trips and always go up to Tahoe. And then we'd go up and gamble for a couple hours. And then we'd come back. Okay? It was just a great road trip. 
I never had a worse ride in my life than a $225,000 Lamborghini. Am I right? They ride hard, right? Yeah, they're they're terrible drive. Yeah. I thought That's probably because you were only moving at 120 instead of 160 miles an hour. Brian, is it hard to see out of those uh, the Lamborghini? Yeah, the Lamborghini is very hard to see. And I used to make a joke. I used to make like laugh at people when they back them up into the when we have these little get togethers and stuff. Um, and, and now I have a hard time in my car, I mean, but I, the Lamborghini is really bad. Every time now, we hit Brian, a, is, every is time the, we hit a bump, I get a new hemorrhoid. Yeah, those. Yeah, <laughs> Brian is the I, I reason. Never, the reason that you lost weight is so you could fit into the McLaren? No, I lost the weight and I said, I deserve a McLaren. <laughs> I deserve a McLaren. Well, by the way, I want to find out, how you how you, how you doing, Trucker Steve? Oh, we just lost him. You know, if I lose 25 pounds, will you buy me a McLaren too, Dad? If you Brian? lose 25 pounds. You fit in my McLaren, I'll let you, you, you would. There would be no difference. You'd never get me out. you need a crane to get me out. Hey, my, my friend Ronnie that, that Kevin knows, he lost a hundred pounds, and I told him if he keeps that off, he hasn't. He's tried to lose more, but man, he used to be really big. And I said if he continues it, kept it where he's at, and maintain or lose more, he'll be the first one to drive in my thirty-four Cadillac Speedster. So, nice. so he has coming up in a couple months. So he's he. There, keeps there's a classic car place in Emeryville, mm -hmm. and uh, I had an MGA, a 1960 MGA, when I was in high school. So I stopped at this place one afternoon. And I went in and they had a 1960 MGA. So I opened the door and I got into it and I couldn't get out. I, I was at my heaviest too. And I actually had to crawl out of it onto the ground. I thought I was gonna have to get somebody to help me. I couldn't get out from under the wheel. I, I couldn't get out of the car. My mother's got a Honda Civic. It's brand new. Hey, is I, it, got, uh, I got into it and I couldn't get out of it. Is it my age or is, is it harder to get out of cars these days? Well, my uh, weight is harder to get out of cars. Forget about what that. Kind of, like SUVs or things like that. I'm talking or? about like I I get out of cars like uh, when I get out of a car a, a, a lift or for instance a car yeah. like that. I just find that it's a lot more difficult to get out of the back seat of some of these cars. You you're they going, put the pillars in the, in a different place now and they shove the seats forward. Yeah, is that it? yeah, they, yeah. yeah they, they, cars are built a lot different now. Than Same they thing with the front doors. The front doors are back this far more. Don't, don't you order because these. they shove the engines in there, and then the, the engines come up under the firewall, and they build the you know build the firewall around the back part of the engine. And yeah. because I also find that I have there. to like grab both sides of the door to get myself out now. Yeah, so no, it's that's not you. So it's not me. The back seats. The back seats are terrible. The back seats and the door frame trying to get out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then it's yeah. not me. No. Well, maybe you... it may be you, but no. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it feel better. Is it Lyft or Uber where you can get a luxury car? You can get a Mercedes right there. Screw in. that! Why am I going to pay uh, no, another? Uh, because you're because you're Alex Bennett. They don't. It's, it's XL. It's it's Uber, oh. but it's XL, oh. and then sometimes they don't have an XL, and they come up with. They'll, they'll call me and put put you in my truck. Here's yeah. the here's the clue. Here's the clue on Lyft, and I'm sure it's true with Uber. They have like three different prices: three minutes, five minutes, and fifteen minutes. Like that, and if you well. order the fifteen minute. It's yeah. here in two minutes. Wow. <laughs> every time, every time. You know. Huh. You ever see those videos where they throw the people out of the lift cars and the and the Ubers? You know, because they're either drunk or abusive. Republican. Yeah. Well, I, you like all the shows, Phil? Huh? The, the plane one and then the yeah, Uber I like the one. Plane one the, yeah. Oh, what about, about the about carpet shows? store? They kick you out. Yeah. yeah. Talking about short, Mr. Chun. You know. Uh, Better Call Saul has just been uh, excellent uh, the, the last few shows. Seen this weekend. Don't blow it for me. Knock it off. Oh, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just, you know, I'm really sorry that this show is going away. It's, it's, not, all, it, it. it's, not, going, it's not going the way you expected. Is Gene Tekovic going to be the next spinoff? They all die. There's no spinoff. They all die. <laughs> I started watching it all over again. I think all of us want to know, is he going to be back with Kim at the end? 
No, I don't think so. Uh, did you see that last episode? Uh, did she hang up on him when he called her from the... That wasn't uh, Kim. Uh, that wasn't Kim. It wasn't Kim? No. He called, that was, he the, called wo- that was the woman who worked for him at uh, Better yeah. Call Saul. No, no, no. Saul. That woman told him... Uh, he, gave her, he gave her money. Uh, remember with the string and the rock and the, and the pipe? Yeah. And then well, done. Uh, now you're spoiling it for people. They never uh, mentioned Kim on Breaking Bad, so I can't believe he's getting back together with Kim. Well, well the reason Kim why they, I, one one of the reasons they got rid of Kim and when they did was because uh-huh. she wasn't in Breaking Bad, yeah. and so she couldn't be in that scenario. Right. But somewhere she's, I think, in the back somewhere. And I don't know that at the end they. I, I I'm hoping they get back together again. I'm hoping, you know, I would like after all the dreariness of Breaking Bad and the dreariness of Better Call Saul, that they surprise us and have a happy ending. What was the thing at the beginning of the series uh, of this season where they're ripping apart Saul's house? And taking all his furniture out. Uh, well, that's part of the scenario of, of something of happened. Something oh. happened at the at the end to Saul in in Albuquerque. Yeah, and, happened. And then, but he, now he's in Nebraska. Uh, no, and uh, 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 yeah. they all die. Well, no, but, <laughs> they all die. There's a big tornado, and they all die. Something I don't know. Earthquake. They something. bury they bury him in the desert in New Mexico. Yeah. No, but then yeah, they all die. Then the present the statues. present story is this this rather dull life that he's leading, where apparently he's sick of being dull. Yeah. You know. So it mm-hmm. it it's very it's very interesting the way they've gone. Uh, and uh, I guess they're going to do a spinoff series with Carol Burnett. Uh, <laughs> what in Hawaii? <laughs> the hell. <laughs> yeah. I watched one thing on Netflix which is really interesting. It may not be interesting to anybody, but but they have a blow blow something and it's this uh it's a it's a you know every week they had like 10 or 50 maybe 20 20 of these glass blowers and then they they go every week and they make something. It's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, I've but, seen a glass blower before. But the trouble pretty- is uh, they lost a couple of people doing that show because they accidentally inhaled. <laughs> <laughs> They, one of them, one of them had the hiccups and he died. <laughs> I knew a glass blower. Actually, he uh, he was in the Garadelli Square. This is back in the seventies, and it was very interesting. Uh, I would go there and 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 watch him do it. He he studied in Italy, uh, and and he worked for Vistosi Glass, which uh, uh, was a line that I carried. So I I was able to watch him and see him do these things that were similar to what they did with the Murano glass uh, and, uh, uh, and and Vistosi and all of those. I bet, bet he gave good head too. No, uh, it was it was really it was interesting the the way they would create art. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, we, we actually were com- we're going down to, to LA and with our cars and one of car got got uh, had something happen so we pulled over to Santa Barbara with there's no jack show so don't rush me. So they, they <laughs> we pulled over uh, my friend Ronnie, Ronnie got his car worked on right there, but right across the street was a glass blower, and he was passing it down to his son. So his son had been doing it for a couple of years with him, and they were doing these awards for something in Hollywood. It's really, really interesting. Like like Phil says, yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Um, What's the name of the show, Brian? Blow it, blow me, blow something. I don't know. It's something blow, but it's on Netflix. It's yeah. on Netflix. Okay. Yeah, I, I watched only the third season. It's really interesting though. Now there's another season coming out of the old man, uh, right? Uh, right. Yeah. It, it's shortly, right? Yeah. I don't know if it's shortly, maybe in a year. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that show was so so. It was just. I enjoyed it. You know. It was. Okay. I mean, it, I liked uh, Reacher better. That uh, the the newest Jack Reacher one. I didn't watch that. I was better watching the Terminal guy. List is good. I, I'm more interested in having them bring back Faye and Tammy Baker. <laughs> Faye and Tammy Baker. Jim and well, Tammy. Dead. Maybe Gene Scott. Actually, Jim's still around doing his uh, his shows. Thing? Stuff. Yeah. Didn't Tammy Baker marry the attorney? Her attorney? I can't or... remember. I can't remember who she married. But sad oh, didn't story. she die? Yeah, oh, she's she, dead. She got cancer. She's dead. Hey, listen, yeah. that's the theme song playing. There's no Jack after this. 
So you don't know Jack, uh, yeah. and uh, there's no Jack, Jack after this. Yeah, but but uh, and Jack's off. But you know, we'll play a rerun of Jack. How's that? Will everybody be happy with that? Well, Alan will yeah. call into that. I think I have one ready where it was the Amy and Jack show. So you know that uh, that. Anyway, thank you, Phil. I appreciate it. I always appreciate you. Little get-togethers with me on Wednesdays. Uh, what happened to your photo club? Uh, there's no in-person right now, uh, you know. So they're just doing it on Zoom, and I don't. Uh, I only do prints. I don't okay. like doing the digital. All right. All right. No uh, old men to beat up. Yeah, and yeah. thank you very much, uh, 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 Alan, and thank you, Charlie. I love your T-shirt tonight. Uh, the wonderful and attractive uh, Brian is there with his lovely and attractive daughter. Oh, look at her. She's being adorable. Uh, and that's Adrian. And then uh, thank you also to Kevin. And thanks to Tony. And thanks to Jeff. And, uh, and my other daughter. I'm up here. other daughter. Wait a minute. Amy wait, just wait. responded. Okay. Jack is, is good well and he's resting. Anyway, give a big wave goodbye. And I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And we will call it a night. Bid you a fond do, or a big fond do, or something. Bye. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. That's it. There's no Jack Bishop next because he is a. He just got through being operated on, but he'll be fine, hopefully, and uh, uh, he'll be back soon. In the meantime, we'll play a rerun of one of his older shows. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Have a good night.